great. We have got a lot of news about Amazon. I got a lot to cover. Three different stories. I don't even know which one to start with. Um, so let's start here. Amazon closing eight Amazon Go convenience stores in latest tightening of its physical retail. Actually, let me stop here because at the end, I'm going to talk about a lawsuit involved uh, Amazon's involved with because of how they were biometrically tracking people, okay? So that, stick around for that. Um, and if you like this kind of information that isn't really getting out on mainstream, hit the thumbs up button. All right, so um, Amazon, closing eight Amazon Go convenience stores and latest tightening of physical retail. I don't know how many people have been to an Amazon Go store, but I gotta be honest with you. I walked by them and refused to be in there. Zero people, the ones in the... Uh, if I've got the right uh, brand, I've got so many different stores, but these ones in the airport, there's nobody there. There's these uh, gates that you have to scan your credit card or whatever to get into them. Literally reminds me of the day where you'll see that mark of the beast out and you'll have to scan your right hand or your forehead to get into the store. Nobody there. And then it just literally, you pay as you leave and it just blows me away. Everything's weighed or they have these scanners and we're gonna get into, we are in this realm right now and it's very important, but we also wanna hit the aspect of the economy collapsing and how they are selling. We're gonna talk about Amazon laying off even more people just a few days ago. We're gonna be talking about this uh, convenience store. Um, it says that it's tightening of its physical retail. Um, it says, and remember how Amazon goes, so does the nation. When we're talking about the largest retailers and how they are having to change, how they're having to lay off people, they are telling you in their action by laying people off that they are in very serious, having serious issues and the economy in turn will be having issues as well. So Amazon announced Friday that it is permanently closing eight of its high-tech Amazon Go convenience stores, including two in Seattle, it's the latest move by the tech giant to pull back on some of its brick and mortar operations. Like any physical retailer, we periodically assess our portfolio of stores and make optimization decisions along the way, an Amazon spokesperson said in an emailed statement. The two impacted stores in Seattle are located downtown in the Macy's building at uh, 3rd Avenue and Pine Street and 4th Avenue and Pike Street. Both stores have been closed for some time, according to Amazon, and are located in part of a downtown that has been especially troubled. Now, we've seen other stores that are pulling out of uh, Oregon and Washington as well, so this is sort of uh, not big news. You go woke, you go broke, right? And it seems to be a lot of the cities that are going woke are going to be going broke because as these companies pull out, and these companies are woke as well, uh, as, as they pull out of these cities, the cities are going to be starved in the states of tax revenue. So that's good news, right? Because I want to see a lot of these cities and states need to go bankrupt to wake up to the reality that the consumer does not want your political ideals. We just want to go buy something in the store. We want to get the best deal. If you're not doing that, you need to get the heck out of Dodge, quite frankly. Now it says here, two stores in New York City and four in San Francisco will also close. The affected stores will continue to operate until April 1st. And uh, here we go. Another news, or a, a quote from Amazon. We remain committed to the Amazon Go format, operate more than 20 Amazon Go stores across the U.S. and will continue to learn which locations and features resonate most with the customers as we keep evolving our Amazon Go stores. Well, let me tell you, Amazon, we want a human being getting paid to do a job. We don't need robots serving us food. We don't need to scan something before we go in or exit. We don't want to be tracked. We're going to get into that. This story about Amazon biometrically tracking people. It's very important. I'll get to that in a second. Now it says here, the move to tighten its physical retail belt comes exactly a year after Amazon announced it was closing 68 brick and mortar stores. Um, the company said at the time it was planned, it had planned to focus on more on its Amazon Fresh Whole Foods market. I like to refer to that as Whole Paycheck. I can thank my buddy Kevin because who's been in a Whole Foods lately and can actually afford it? Holy cow. Let me know down in the comment section uh, if you guys ever been in a Whole Foods and what your experience is like. Um, it says, in the time since Amazon has been hit, by the same economic uncertainty as a number of large tech companies. Earlier Friday, Amazon confirmed that it was pausing construction on its HQ2 project, second headquarters, right? Down in the Washington, D.C. area. 
the company laid off more than 18,000 corporate and tech employees. But you know what? It doesn't stop there. So first off, I'm talking about these Amazon Go stores that are closing right now, right? And it looks like they're closing eight. But that's not the big story because it says here earlier it had just finished closing 68 brick and mortar stores, right? So they're continuing on. Now here later in the story, it says the company laid off 18,000 corporate and tech employees. Let's do this. Let's move over to CNBC right here. And it's entitled Amazon to lay off 9,000 more workers in addition to earlier cuts. What is this saying? This is simply saying the economy is collapsing. We are doing it right now. This is nuts. This is not the time to be going out and buying crap you can't afford. It's the time to be saving money. It's the time to be paying off debt. It's the time to be setting money aside because there are going to be so many opportunities to go and crush it for you and your family, to make generational wealth. But that is not going to happen if you're not ready for it. So here we go, Amazon to lay off 9,000 more workers in addition to earlier cuts. So it ain't stopping. Remember, I said we are gonna be losing about 10,000 jobs a day by June. And I have a feeling that we will over exceed $10,000, 10,000 employees losing their jobs per day over the entire year because by the end, the collapse will get even worse and more companies will be trying to jump ahead of uh, you know other companies to try and save money. So it says um, uh, CEO Andy Jassy said in a me memo to staff on Monday that 9,000 employees will be laid off in the coming weeks. The cuts follow an earlier round of layoffs that began in November and extended into January, which affected more than 18,000 sta 18, staffers. So that means right there they're telling you, hey, we're not done. We're going to lay off more people. The latest round is expected to impact Amazon's cloud computing, advertising, human resources, and Twitch units. Let me explain something, too, that the, that the government won't tell you. Hmm. You know, those employment numbers coming out, and they're just really stellar. And we've seen these employment numbers. You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This, the, the country is not this strong. The economy is not this strong. And then non-farm payrolls would come out, and oh, man, wages are going up. This is what you need to understand. People were underemployed and there were all these jobs that weren't full-time and they had to pay people more to come to work half-time, part-time because the government are you know, a bunch of idiots and they had all these awesome, brilliant ideas like, hey, let's uh, let's force companies to pay um, health insurance benefits if they're working you know, 32 hours or whatever it is, I don't remember, on and over. And uh, if you guys agree with how stupid this is, hit the thumbs up for me. And so what happens is companies go, oh, man, let's take all these 40-hour employees, shove them down to like 31 hours or 28 hours or whatever it is. So we don't got to pay them unemployment or um, these high insurance premiums, right, for them. So then these people need to go out and get other jobs and the company, you know, because they, they need more hours. They need to survive, especially as inflation's going up. Then these companies also go, crap, we also need people to work those other, you know, 12 hours. So we got to go find people. Well, how, how much do you got to pay someone to go, hey, we only need you for 12 hours? Well, you're not going to be paying exactly minimum wage. You got to pay a little bit more. And I believe that's why you're seeing these non-farm payrolls rise. So right now, literally collapse is happening. You are in it. You're in the eye of the storm. It's so exciting and so, so much to get pumped up about. But the scary thing is I've been trying to warn people for like, what, two years now? I want to try to warn more people. Like you can't really get that information out because like this title, what's wrong with Amazon? Amazon's like, hey, Google. Yeah, you see that video Ninja's done? Let's not share. That's the thing. And you got to sort of get past all of that stuff, right? And someone just says, hey, I love high unemployment because it makes things cheaper. That's correct. But it there's a time lag involved. You see, prices are high, high, high until they're not. And when they're not, it's because nobody has money, including the people that were all excited about it. Um, that's why you got to get really excited if you have money onto the side and you get ready to buy stuff. It's like me talking about the supercars I want to buy, right? I'm not going to buy them right now for $150,000, $250,000 a piece. I'm going to wait till they're like 50, 60 grand. I'll be buying them back from the bank. So it says right here, the latest round, like I said, involves cloud computing, Twitch, but again, advertising, advertising and human resources. There's not a lot of advertising going on. Ad dollars are being pulled from social media accounts like crazy. I've been talking about this. Human resources, you don't need that many human resource people if you fire everybody. That makes sense. Um, it says right here, now here's, here's, the, here's, the, here's a quote from CEO. The overriding tenant of our annual planning this year 
was to be leaner while doing so in a way that enables us to invest or still invest robustly in the key long-term customer experiences that we believe we can meaningfully improve customers' lives in Amazon and Amazon as a whole. Jassy said, that's the CEO, right? That's uh, Andy Jassy. Andy, have you taken a pay cut? I was just curious um, if you guys could, you know, hashtag Andy Jassy in this video, J-A-S-S-Y. Um, I'm sure that's going to really get me going with the uh, old uh, algorithms, but hey, whatever. Um, you know, if you can't take anyone with you towards prosperity, prosperity sucks. You got, you want to be prosperous with other people. Also, you don't want to see people get hurt. And these are the things we need to warn people around about. Um, so now check this out. Let's dive into the more important part, right? This is biometrically tracking people. Um, this is out of CBS news. That's mainstream. So, you know, it's true, right? But Hey, when stuff like this hits uh, mainstream and it's not getting a lot of play, well, the ninjas got to get involved. All right, here we go. It's entitled Amazon ghost stores in New York city. Didn't properly alert customers. They were being biometrically tracked. A lawsuit says, Hey, wait a minute. Didn't, didn't we just talk about that? They're closing stores in New York. <gasps> Maybe people are figuring this out. Here we go. Amazon is facing a lawsuit alleging that the company did not properly notify customers in its Amazon Go stores in New York City that it was tracking and collecting their biometric information. I guess, you know, when you walk in, it says, you can't come in until we, and then like this laser light goes, people are like, well, that was nice. That just fell all warm and tingly. What do you mean they're tracking me? I mean, think about this. There's cameras all over the place. There's sensors. You put your credit card in. I, I know. I know. People should get this, but I guess they're not. The lawsuit claims that e-commerce giant violated a New York City law passed in early 2021, which, whoa, New York came up with a new law. That's weird. That never happens every second of the day. Which requires businesses that are collecting, storing, or sharing biometric identifier information to post signage near their entrances, alerting customers that they are doing so. This is really happening, people. I'm, I mean, <laughs> Amazon Go stores, which opened in 2018, use what the company calls just walk out technology. That's what a lot of people in California do. They just sort of walk out with the crap. They don't get in trouble unless they walk out with more than 900 bucks and not paying, but it's just walk out technology. Don't worry. Come and do a right hand near you. Shoppers scan a mobile app. Oh, that's going to leave a mark. Oh, well, we're live. Shoppers scan a mobile app and then are tracked using a computer version, sensor fusion, and deep learning technology as the place items in their carts the company says on a website, there are no cashiers, no need to check out. There's no need for a human being. We don't need those pesky employees. Instead, shoppers simply walk out of the store and their Amazon accounts are charged when they leave. Just walk out technology automatically detects when products are taken from or returned to the shelves to keep track in them virtual cart. I wonder what happens when all of a sudden you say something weird on Facebook. Do you think they just, you know, the door is locked and you can't go in? Think about that. They identify customers, track when they move in the stores and determine what they've purchased. They're probably also taking your temperature to make sure you're not sick. The lawsuit argues that since New York, I mean, honestly, like seriously, if you know what I'm talking about, hit the thumbs up. I'm not even joking. And you know what sucks? I'm going to be honest. This is a little tirade. But I even got to say, hey, can you hit the thumbs up button? Can you hit the subscribe button? Because the algo is fighting against you. And see, what happens is, like these stores, this, this lawsuit comes out. And this is the truth. This lawsuit comes out, and all of a sudden, everyone's like, what the heck? What do you mean Amazon goes, like, tracking you? And then people stop going there. And then the store, like I just read at the beginning of the story, is close to shut down. They got to shut down. It's not because things are weird. It's because I have no customers because people don't like that stuff. Thought we lived in America. Um, the lawsuit argues that since New York began enacting the notification law in 2021, Amazon Go stores failed to post any signs notifying shoppers that was collecting such biometric identification. However, following a March 10th story in New York Times on the use of facial recognition technology by businesses, Amazon Go stores in New York City posted their first notification signs on March 14th. That sort of coincides with we don't have any business, so let's close down. Yep, it says it right here. You'll have to watch the beginning of the video. I already covered that. In a statement provided to CBS News Saturday in response to the lawsuit, Amazon spokesperson said uh, 
Amazon Go stores do not use facial recognition technology. We just take a hair sample as you walk through. Amazon One, our con contactless palm-based, palm-based identity payment service. Think, think about this. This is my right hand. What comes in the future that pertains to your right hand? Only shoppers who choose to enroll in Amazon One and choose to be identified by hovering their palm over the Amazon One device have their palm biometric data securely collected, and these individuals are provided an appropriate privacy disclosure during the enrollment process. This isn't making your blood boil. I don't know what it is. The customer is always in control of when they choose to be identified using their palm. That's true. It is going to be a choice. It is going to be a choice. It's a choice right now. It's going to be a choice in the future. Additionally, just walkout technology used to distinguish shoppers from, you know what? I'm going to pray right now, actually. I'm going to do something that I don't don't really do, and I'm not here to preach to you right now, but I'm going to declare in the name of Jesus Christ, open eyes and open ears over anyone that's watching this video right now that has no idea what is happening. There is a choice that you're going to have to make that is very, very serious. And I want you to understand that if you don't wake up right now and open up your eyes and open up your ears and get ready for this upcoming collapse, there is nothing we're going to be able to do to save anyone, especially ourselves. This is not a joke. There will be a day where you will not be able to buy or sell without a mark that is placed in your right hand or on your forehead. And it'll probably be because scammers can hack into your identity. So this is probably the best way. I think right now people need to realize this. If you're not hitting the thumbs up button and you can say in the same sentence, oh, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, then you are, you've lost it. Get this information out. A lot of people would say, you know, I, I have not only a firm belief in my faith in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and I'm not here to preach to you guys. I am a basket. I'm a mess. I'm a wreck. I'm not perfect at all. I mess up all the time. You need to wake up right now. And how do you get out of the system, the world system? You get out of the system of debt. It's the system of debt. When you have no debt, and you can still own businesses and use debt through the business entities and build the business up and make money and employ people, that's the right way to do it. But don't have debt in your personal life. I'm trying right now to get out of debt. I have one debt left. That's a house. Even though I have the money to pay off the house, I told my wife, we said, oh, we're just going to keep working hard and keep stacking that money. So we still have emergency funds over here, money over here. We're going to pay this house off. And I want you to understand how vitally important it is to get out of this world system right now. Um, I'm sorry I didn't expect to do that. But look, I'm glad these stores are closing down. People are speaking. But at a certain point, if people are too, uh, too asleep, these stores will win. And before you know it, you won't have any employees. Your neighbor down the street will lose their job. They'll never be able to go work at a store again because they won't need people. because They've got a robot to serve you. And that's where it gets very scary. Guys, I hope you have a great day. The Economic Ninja is out.